Hi, everybody out there. Today's story is a book called It's Okay to Be Different by Todd Parr. But before we read the story, you know, last night I was eating some popcorn and I started looking at the popcorn that I was eating and I thought, wow, there are so many different shapes in there. And so I, I want you to look at some popcorn with me. So I'm going to um, change the camera to the tabletop so we can see it better up close. Whoops, there's the book in a minute. <laughs> and here's my popcorn. Now here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take out some popcorn and put it on the table just a little bit. And look at that. There's all kinds of crazy shapes and it's all popcorn, but look at the different shapes. I'm gonna pick one up and hold it towards the camera. This one, check that out. It looks like two eyes looking at you, doesn't it? <laughs> and let's see, there's another one that I saw here. Whoa, here's a crazy, here's a crazy one. This one is really big. It looks like it's got three, three legs or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's really amazing. And I thought I saw one that looked like it was a big mouth looking at me. Let's see, let's hold it right there. Does that look like a big mouth? <laughs> so I thought, you know, even though all of these shapes are all different, they're kind of all the same thing, <laughs> popcorn. There's a crazy one, whoops. And that's kind of what our book is about today. So I'm gonna hold up a shape. Oh, this is this is the one I saw. Now this guy, this little guy, I can't hold it still. It looks like a robot with a backpack on his back. See, there's the backpack. And there's his robot face. There's his arm and his arm over here. Don't you think? <laughs> well, it's fun. So the next time you guys eat popcorn, <laughs> Take a look at what you're eating and see if you can imagine some shapes. And they're all different. And hey, it's really okay to be different. Hey, here's one. I'm gonna hold this up. Tell me what you think this one looks like to you. A squirrel. A squirrel? <gasps> Maybe, yeah, wow. It, it is a bunny. A bunny, a bunny or a squirrel. So there's some amazing things and these all are all different, but it's all popcorn and it is okay to be different. And that's what our story is about. So next time you have some popcorn, ha, 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 check it out up close. All right, so now I'm gonna move my book over here so we can see it. And this is the story called, It's Okay to Be Different by Todd Parr. Now I'm gonna turn the page. There it is, the first page. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be missing a tooth or two or three. I love the pictures in this book because it looks like somebody drew them. But yeah, he looks like he's missing a few teeth right there, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, look over here. It's okay to need some help. Oh, there's a lady. It looks like she maybe can't see so good. She's got some glasses on that are dark glasses. Sometimes blind people wear those. Oh, and she's getting some help by a dog. <laughs> it's okay to need some help. Oh, I love it. This is a pink elephant. Whoa, it's okay to have different noses. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that big, long nose on the elephant. Hmm, different noses. That looks a lot different than my nose. It's okay to be a different color. Oh, check out, check out the zebras. <laughs> there's a regular black and white zebra, but then there's one that's not so black and white. It looks like a rainbow zebra. That would really be neat to see in the wild, I think. Oh, it's okay to have no hair. <laughs> it 
no hair, big bow, no hair. I love it. What's gonna come next? Oh, it's okay to have big ears. Oh, we were talking about a bunny that the popcorn looked like. Bunny or a squirrel? Bunnies have really, really huge, huge ears. It's okay to have some wheels. Lots of people have to get around on wheelchairs. Yep. I've even seen some people have wheelchair races, which is really fun. Okay. It's okay to be small, to be medium, Oh, he's getting bigger. To be large and extra large. Maybe she's tall. He's almost tall. Small, medium, large, extra large. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Oh, it's okay to wear glasses. Well, that's good because I wear glasses all the time. I can't see without them. It's okay to wear glasses. I love her big round glasses <laughs> oh here's a lion let's see it's okay to talk about your feelings Grr. oh here's a good one Grr. anybody have a pet cat <laughs> you do i see you nodding your head yep have you ever heard your kitty purr Make a purring sound. Sometimes I think that means they're happy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is my favorite. This is my total favorite. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. What? A big bowl of macaroni and cheese and bathtub bubbles. Mm. <laughs> That's a crazy place to eat macaroni and cheese, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, two fishes. It's okay to say no to bad things. Ooh, yeah, getting caught on a fish hook would be really bad for those two fish, wouldn't it? Yeah. Although for the fisherman, he would probably be very happy if he caught a fish, but not the fish. It's okay to say no to bad things. There we go. It's okay to come from a different place. <laughs> and probably speak a different language too. Oh yeah, Saturn, there's an alien from space. Hmm, but how about a different country with a different language? That's okay. Yep, it's okay to come from a different place. Oh, here's a silly one. Look at this. What is this hanging on her foot? Does anybody know? <laughs> Any guesses? It looks like to me she stepped on some toilet paper <laughs> and she's walking around with it. Oh, it's okay to be embarrassed. She was in the bathroom, she stepped on the toilet paper, and now she's tracking it all around. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay to be embarrassed. Oh, it's okay to come in last. Who is this? This looks like a turtle. Turtles are kind of slow. So if you were in a turtle race, if you were in a race and you were a turtle, you probably would come in last. That's okay. It's okay to come in last. Oh, here's a good one. It's okay to dance all by yourself. <laughs> I've seen lots of pictures of people dancing by themselves online lately. I can dance by myself too. He looks like he's having a great time. The music is kind of loud and he's wiggling all around, yay. All right, it's okay to have a pet worm. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's fun, they're fun to watch. They, they can't play um, fetch like a dog <laughs> and they don't purr like a cat, but they are very interesting to watch. And tomorrow we're gonna talk about worms at science. Worms okay. don't play. No, they don't play, <laughs> they don't play but they sure are fun to watch. They do lots of other things. Let's see, oh, here's a lady with a green face and stars. It's okay to be proud of yourself. Ooh, she must have done something really cool. She's got a big smile. She's very happy. It's okay to be proud of yourself. 
here's one. Oh, <laughs> it's okay to have different moms. Oh, there's mom with red hair and red earrings and a mom with a blue face and a daisy. And it's okay to have different dads. A green dad <laughs> and a yellow dad with drop glasses. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. That looks like a kangaroo and that looks like a dog. That's a silly picture when you look at it at first, but the words say it's okay to be adopted. So maybe the kangaroo is taking care of the dog. And that's the way with people too. It's okay to have a different mom and a different dad and be adopted. Oh, here's a good one. It's okay to have an invisible friend. What happened to her legs? <laughs> what happened to her arms? What happened to her face? She's invisible. It's okay to have an invisible friend. Yep. Oh, here's one. It's okay to do something nice for someone. I think this is a mouse. And I think this is a cat. And I think this is a piece of cheese. So I think the cat is giving a piece of cheese to the little mouse. Usually, yeah. Usually the cat might eat the mouse, I think, but not this time. This time it's okay to do something nice for someone else. And it's okay to think up something nice on our own. Like if we're, we're not the cat, we're not the mouse, but I bet you we could think of something nice to do for somebody else. Whoa! <laughs> it's okay to lose your mittens. Oh, the snowman lost his mittens. <laughs> Probably blew off in the in the wind. Oh no. Have you ever lost a mitten? I have. In fact, I lost a mitten at the children's museum when I got out of my car and the snowplow came along and shoved it into a big snowbank. And the snowbank got bigger and bigger all winter long every time it snowed because the snowplow would make would push all the snow in the same place. And then in the spring, like right now, the snow started to melt and started to melt and started to melt. And one day I walked out and the whole snow pile was gone. But guess what? My mitten was there on the cement. I found my mitten. I was so happy. It took a couple months, but I did find my mitten. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. I like that. It's a skunk. I like skunks. And it looks like he's gonna spray somebody because he's mad. Maybe he's protecting himself. And it says, it's okay to get mad, especially if you need to protect yourself like a skunk does. Except we can't spray people. <laughs> it's okay to get mad. Oh, here we go. Look at this. That's one of my favorite things too. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. Oh, that's a whole big ice cream cone. I wonder how many scoops there are. You want to count with me? One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten scoops of ice cream. Oh man. Oh, hey, there's a squirrel in this story, just like the popcorn squirrel. Only well, he's a real squirrel. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. Oh yeah. Squirrels collect nuts. There's a girl with a basket full of nuts. Squirrels need help. Here we go. It's okay to have different kinds of friends. Look at that. A dog. That looks like maybe a grandpa. And another little kid. Different kinds of friends animal friends and people friends and maybe even bug friends. I like bugs. I like worms. It's okay to make a wish. <sighs> it's okay to make a wish. This is the dog and I can see what he's wishing for. A dog bone, a dog treat. If you could make a wish, what would you wish for? Can you think of something that you would like to wish for? Cake. Okay. Did you say cake? <laughs> yeah, that's a good wish. All right, and I think we're almost, oh, we are. 
we're to the last page. Big wish for cake and dog bones and things like that. And the last page says, it's okay to be different. You are special. You are important just because of being who you are. And the, and the note is signed by Todd Parr, the author of the book, the man who wrote the book. And he drew himself as a dog. <laughs> you are special and important just because of being who you are. So even if you <laughs> have a pet worm or finish last or come from a different place or eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub, you are special. And that's the end of our story today. Okay, so I'm coming back to FaceTime to say hello. We have a craft today. There. Huh. Okay, we have a craft today to go along with the story. You are. It's okay to be different. I'll put that over there. And we're going to make ourselves different noses. Remember the part in the book where it said... It's okay to have a different nose. We're gonna make ourselves a different nose today. So if you have, um, I'm gonna get out the supplies to show you. If you have an egg carton and maybe some pipe cleaners for whiskers, and I have a hole punch and scissors, just things that I work with. And instead of paint today, although you can use paint if you want to, I'm going to use markers because it's a little bit less messy. Markers and markers. And, oh, I have a little bit of elastic. Now you can use string too because we're going to hold it onto our nose. But I have a little bit of elastic left over from Christmas. This is all stretchy. But it could just be regular white elastic or it could just be a piece of string. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is cut out one of these sections on your egg carton. And so that's what I'm gonna do right here. I hope you can do this too, or even if you wanna do it later, you can. So I'm gonna cut around the big bumpy egg carton. Whoa, my scissors are having trouble cutting. So if you need some adult help with this, that's okay. So I'm cutting right across. I was gonna, oh, I got two of them. Whoops, maybe that's better because um, then I can hold on to it better. Now, sometimes paper egg cartons rip a little, so I'm trying not to wreck it. Ah, I got a good one. All right, so I got it. It looks like that. Do you think that will, I'm gonna trim it just a little bit so it'll fit my nose. <laughs> All right, I'm trimming off the corners. Okay, so now check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna have a different nose here in a minute. I think it's gonna be an animal nose because I'm gonna put whiskers on it. Okay, so if you can get it cut to about something that looks like that, that'd be great. And now I am going to color it. Let's see, what kind of animal nose do I want? Do I want a dog nose? Do I want a kitty nose? Hmm. Maybe I want a mouse nose. I think I want a mouse nose today. So I am going to take a little bit of brown marker and just start coloring. Or if you decide that you want paint, you can do this too with paint. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna color my mouse nose brown. And it's already got some gray on it because I think some of the mice I've seen have some gray on them. But this nose is going to be brown and gray. Da -da 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 -da. And coloring it right up. I've only got one or two more sides. My marker is soaking into the cardboard. And so. <laughs> Yep. And yeah, like I said you before, you could probably do paint if you wanted. But it would get all soggy while you're trying to make it. Okay, so I got brown around the edge. And see, there's a little dot in the middle. See a little circle? 
I think I am going to try to make this a really cute nose. And so I don't have a pink marker, but I have a red marker. I'm going to color in that circle dot with a different color so it will look like the end of a really cute mouse nose. There we go. And so then I'm going to take the brown marker and color all around the end around my little red circle. So now it's starting to look pretty good, more like a nose than it did an egg carton. <laughs> and that's a good thing. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing good. There, oops. It's not quite as neat as I wanted it to be. I'm gonna neaten it up here. There. <laughs> okay, so I've got a brown mouse nose with a cute little red tip on it. And let's see, I'm gonna put it on my face. And I think what I need is, there, that's how I wanna wear it. I need some whiskers, right? Okay, so I have a whole ton somewhere. And I am going to take, and this is a hard part, sticking my hole punch right on there. But if you, if you don't have a hole punch, always, always, always a good thing is a pencil with a point on it because you can wiggle it. I tried to get my hole punch to do this, but I couldn't. So I wiggled my pencil in there for a hole on one side. And I'm gonna go on the other side and do the same thing. Wiggle my pencil, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle till it pokes a hole through there. And now I got a hole right through the edge. I'm gonna put some whiskers in it. Okay, so there's my hole on this side and there's my hole oh, on this side. Come on, hole. I know you're there somewhere. Ah, there we go. Now I've got, one whiskers, and I'm gonna use that same hole because I kind of made it big. So I'm poking another whisker through that hole, just like this. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, so my whiskers are a little bit bent, but I'm gonna bend them up so it looks like I'm a cute mouse. There, okay. There, I have a nose. Now i hold this onto my face. <laughs> I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use my pencil again to poke a hole here. Right in, see where the whiskers are. I'm gonna put a little hole right on the edge here where my finger is. Get out of there, whiskers, right there. And then right there on the other side. And that's where I'm gonna put my elastic so I can hold it on my face. So here I go. There's my hole. Whoa, see how the pencil came right through. There's the hole. And on the other side, poking a hole again. Ah! <laughs> There's my other hole. So I have two holes. Underneath the whisker holes, I have two holes. And so now I have my crazy Christmas elastic. I'm gonna measure my head around to my nose. And it's about, oh, it's a little over, I got a big head. Mine is about a foot and a half long. I'm gonna cut it and stick it in my holes. And we're almost done with this. I'm gonna stick the elastic in the hole and give it a tie. Now any string will do as well. Elastic is just stretchier. And I tie that on. And then in the other hole, I'm gonna tie that on. And I'm gonna wear a mouse nose, but you can do any kind of, you could do a dog nose, a kitty nose. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a pig nose, that would be a good one. Okay. I've almost got it tied, I've almost got it tied, I've almost got it tied. Oh, there it is. And I'm gonna put my nose on. Whoa, it's, it's in there. Now it's around my glasses and I, do I look like a mouse? I don't know. <laughs>
There you go. So that's our craft for today. It's okay to have a different nose. That was one of the pages of our It's Okay to Be Different book. So I hope you had fun with us today listening to the book and, and playing along and making something. Dance by yourself today. So we'll see you again next time that it's story time. Hope you have a good day. seen before. And here's where you get to make a choice. Was it ah, a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex? And I'm just gonna stick some pine cones in my box and um, then the fun starts. I just start rolling them around. The air rushing out of the balloon is gonna push that balloon up. So let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Oh, wow. So that's how rockets kind of work. We are going to build two different kinds of rockets today. Four times fast as you can.